So in this video, we've got my biggest win so far. Um, those of you that follow me on Insta would have already seen. I uploaded my score, which I was super happy about. Um, it is my biggest win. And we ended up finishing 10th um, out of a few thousand odd or whatever. Um, there was a million guarantee for this tournament. Um, and first place paid out just over 100k, I think. So it is it is super gutting to think that we got knocked out so close to like super big money. Um, but obviously still happy with still happy with my score. Um, but yeah, it is a bit gutting thinking how close I was to picking up like crazy money. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've um, shortened it down low, so I'm just showing pretty much the main highlights. Um, so hope you enjoy the video. So first highlight, we have the ace queen under the gun and we end up getting shoved on and this is obviously a super important hand. We've got a $613 bounty here, so it's so much to play for. We do end up calling. Flop comes 784 and we hit an ace on the turn. So that is such an important flip to win. Not only does it bring us up into first place, but we end up picking up a $600 bounty. Next hand, nothing too big here, but we've got fives, uh, pocket fives uh, in the big blind and under gun opens. Um, he C bets and we obviously call here. You could you could raise, I think, I think raising on the flop there is possibly better, but I did decide to call. Um, and then he checked a turn. So the river, we do end up firing. And I think we take it down. Yep, he does just fold. Got a super big hand here. Uh, under the gun opens. And with the ace king, definitely going to be raising here. Um, don't need to do a massive raise. Um, obviously, blinds. We're on 30-odd uh, blinds here. And obviously with ICM as well, you don't want to be doing super big raises. And then the short stack here ends up just shoving and he's got a $700, $700 bounty. And he does show up with jacks. Flop comes 4, 9, 10. Miss on the turn. And unfortunately, we do not hit on the river. And that would have been such an important hand for us. That really would have put us in a good position. Um, but unfortunately, we don't end up winning the flip. Anyway, literally the next hand, we do end up picking up king-queen suited. Uh, I was debating whether to shove here, but I think with ICM, is definitely just a cool. Um, really nice flop. End up hitting two pair. We decide to bet out. Um, our opponent checks over to us, and he does cool. And on the turn here... I was debating whether to just check it back as a trap, which with hindsight, I think would have been a much better play and just see whether he bluffs the river. Um, but I did end up just like over bet shoving the turn here, which I think was reasonable. Um, like hoping to just get value from like a king ace or a queen ace. Queen ace, I think would have called in that situation possibly. Um, but yeah, anyway, we did pick up the pot. And this is an interesting hand here. We have a dream situation. So this guy with an absolute monster bounty ends up shoving with his tiny stack. And King Queen is obviously going to be a cool. But then the big stack ends up shoving all in. And it's got a tough situation here because with his stack size, he is going to be shoving with worse because he knows he can put a lot of pressure on me. And I was, I mean, it probably is a fold, but with the with the bounty, it's just such a difficult situation because the pay jumps, um, the pay jump is smaller than what I would have won from the bounty, but unfortunately did have ace king, which is annoying. We don't get the bounty, but luckily we didn't lose um, to the big stack, so we did stay in. And next hand, king seven suited. Definitely shoving there um, on the button. People don't do that frequently enough, um, but it should be a shove. And anyway, we pick up ace queen, 11 big blinds, most easy shove here. 
Um, and the good thing is, because this guy has got a big stack, um, it's quite likely that we're going to be getting a call from weak aces or uh, king queen, king jack, king king ten suited. All of those sort of hands are going to be calling jack ten suited. Um, so it it is a really good situation for us. Um, and he does end up calling with the a7 so we just need to make sure we miss the 7 and we do um, so yeah we end up getting a lovely double up there gets us right back into it um, and it was important pot next hand we, we ended up not getting any good hands for ages and we were just sort of dribbling away um, but anyway did shove this king 7 and obviously he's going to snap it off with the 2's but wow, we end up hitting a seven on the flop, king on the turn, and avoid the two on the river. Here we've got king jack suited. And I went back over this because I think this was a definite mistake from me. I ended up just shoving, and with 14 bigs, I just don't think that's a good good idea. Um I I did look it up um on BBG Poker's charts and it did have it as a shove some of the time but that wasn't with icm um so it yeah it was definitely a mistake on my part and he shows over queens what an awful situation but bam hit a king on the turn so sometimes when you have a big win you gotta get lucky and we did get lucky and for the next hand we've got ace three off and we're down to like 6.7 big blinds here. There was nothing too significant which really happened. So I haven't shown it in the highlights. We, we, we were honestly just getting no good hands. And I just kept folding. Um, and then I may have lost a few small pots. But yeah, anyway, down to six blinds. And it's just one of those where we just have to shove. But unfortunately, we're pretty much drawing dead on the flop which is pretty annoying but anyway we end up picking up uh just over five grand 800 and really happy with that could have been a lot more but yeah anyway thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video